Hey there, it's Angela from Sister Chicks Picks. Welcome back to our pretend craft show. So today I want to show you a loaded envelope that I created for a swap that I'm involved in, in one of the groups that I belong to on Facebook. Um, this was their April mega swap and the theme was butterflies. And the requirements of the swap is to include two full size sheets of stickers. So basically um, no, un no use sheets of stickers. Um, four washi samples and you had to create either a pocket letter or a stuffed envelope or I think a mini pizza box was the other option. I opted to do the stuffed envelope. I found a different format than the one I used before and I'm actually loving it. So let me just walk you through what um, I have stuffed into my envelope and then I'll show you real quickly at the end how to make this because it's very simple and requires a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, and some folding and some glue and that's it. And it really comes out fantastic and easy. So here's my um, envelope. And as you can see here in the front, I've done a little butterfly embellishment. I created a mini envelope with butterfly paper. Sorry for the bad um, lighting. Um, I used a butterfly from the Dollar Tree and just kind of whirled that um, little wire that comes with it around a pencil so that it could be a boingy sort of butterfly. And inside the envelope, I have put my washi samples. So I just did some various colors and um, a butterfly sample. So that's one of the requirements was to provide at least four samples of washi. And then um, I also included some Project Life cards or just embellishments. Um, once again using a Dollar Tree butterfly. Just glued it on. So it's really pretty and the back of this paper is gorgeous. Um, I also included a butterfly book with this little fringy tassel on it. It's just a paper clip. And then another card that says, with brave wings she flies, so it's got a butterfly on it. Um, inside this front pocket, which is actually a triple pocket, I tucked in one full sheet of stickers of butterflies. And if you look at this, See if I can show you. There are actually two pockets, one on this side and one on this side. I added um, a little embellishment here that I received in a, an exchange, so it came in very handy. Um, I created a little packet of some punch scallops with some butterfly punches and tied it up with a butterfly ribbon. I created another little packet with some butterfly punches and some crepe paper rosettes and made a tag. These I was um, received in a gift as well, so I'm gonna um, send those on to Hoop My Partner. And then here's my second sheet of butterfly stickers that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I just thought these were gorgeous. Um, I love the little glittering on them and the dimensions of them, those are always fun. Um, so here is your main pocket, and all of that is stuffed in there. And then on the back, I used a band and included um, some two and a half by three and a half um, cards, so a pocket letter could be done. Um, Here's an example of a mini pocket letter that I just completed. It's a little Easter one for a different exchange. So these are basically just like baseball card um, holders. And the, you create mini pocket letters with these and just stuff them full of goodies. So there's enough in here to complete a full size pocket letter with a butterfly theme. And then I just added in some embossed papers um, another sheet of butterfly stickers, some butterfly tags, and then another sheet of embossed paper. And that 
it just sticks back in here with a little added color. I think that's the best way to put it. And all of this fits right into this pocket perfectly. Now this one I just, I did long ways so that it fits in and it's not getting too squished um, with my cards. I'm just basically holding them together with this tassel paper clip, putting them into that front left pocket. And then with the washi, this will tuck right into this front pocket as well. And then this little ribbon one just talk, tucks in here as well. So you can see you can load these up really well with a lot of goodies. And I hope that my partner enjoys the one that I put together for her. Uh, but I wanted to show you real quick how you make this. And really, it's a, it's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I think using a double-sided sheet works the best because then you have color on both sides. Um, this one is just kind of a wintry themed one, um, but it's beautiful. It's got a little glitter on it, and you'll need like um, a bone folder or sometimes if I can't find my bone folder, I just use a knitting needle to kind of burnish the folds, and I'll show you what that means. And then some uh, glue or some tape. Now for mine, I used... Um, the red line tape because it seems to be very sticky and this is going to be mailed so I wanted it to hold together through the mail uh, but let me just show you how this works so you take your 12 by 12 sheet of paper and you basically just fold it in a triangle getting corner to corner like that you take your bone folder Just basically put a nice good crease in the edge. Oh, sorry for bumping my camera. You take this top one down and you just basically fold it straight down so you add that additional color. Once again, burnishing that. Now, with this little tip, you want to pull these sides over and basically just barely cross over it. To create your other pocket and you do the same on the other side it's barely crossing over I'm trying to work around my tripod here people and you basically just burnish that down so there's your pocket as you can see in here is a pocket and in here is a pocket and once these are glued down then this becomes your third pocket and really an art glitter glue works great or like I said I use the red line tape because mine's going to go in the mail so these are quick and fun and beautiful and easy and they hold a whole lot of stuff and I think I'm going to be making a lot more of these and sending them out to my pen pals and um, I think they'll enjoy them as we go through some of the seasons tucked full of goodies and um, with well wishes. So thanks for hanging with me through this and I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you back on the Sister Chicks YouTube channel. Thanks.